Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I shorten the shaft for my Haswing Pro Tular 1.0 trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my trolling motor in my DIY motor stand and what I wanted to show you, you can see that yardstick in there. You measure the length of the shaft that you want from the base where the prop unit meets the shaft all the way up to the height and I chose 30 inches and I'll show you why in a little bit of a close-up I marked where I want to make my cut right here with some blue painters tape and I put an arrow facing the edge that I want to make my cut at 30 inches and I had to make it a little bit higher because I needed to add an inch and a half which is this neck that goes on the head unit because I want to keep the head unit on mine so I had to add that length in and then also down here for the depth collar this thing is really long so I've got a couple of options I can either cut it short or I can switch it out with an extra Minn Kota one that I have The first thing I'm going to do is remove these four screws on the bottom side of the head unit so I can take off that top plate. And once I do that, I'll show you the interior view. This is an overhead view of the top of the head unit for the trolling motor. And I'm just going to pop it off so you can see the wiring. These two wires here are going to the battery meter. And then you have your positive and negative going down into the motor. And then out here, these three wires are going out to the speed controller. And that's what I'm going to be working with for this project. The next thing I need to do is with these three sets of wires, the negative, the positive, and then this set of wires that are coming out of the interior of the shaft of the motor, there's some shrink wrap here that I need to remove so I can figure out how to disconnect those. And of course, I'm going to mark everything to make sure I remember where everything goes. Once I've done that, I can remove the bolt that's in the side of the shaft holding the head unit on and go ahead and remove the whole thing. I've removed the head and cut the wires so I can get in here and I've got this flashlight, I hope you can see, but inside the shaft is a little area that's filled with silicone. I'm not sure how deep it goes, but it'll at least go down here to where I can see it for the hole that was drilled to hold the head unit on. So what I'm going to do is cut a little bit below that with this pipe cutter and that way I can pop out that piece of silicone because I don't want to tug on the wires because I might loosen something a little bit further down. So once I cut that piece off and get the silicone out then I can go a little bit deeper and cut my length at 30 inches. Okay, so I cut a two inch section off here, and this is what I have left in there. I've got the little silicone plug and then this other plug here, but because they're loose, now I can just peel them off the wiring and then make my final cut. Okay, so I did a couple of things. I took the other piece off, so now I'm at 30 inches, and then I slid down that one plug in here just to keep the wires separated, and then I also removed the stock Haswing clamp and replaced it with the shorter one that's left over from a Minn Kota. Okay, so now I have everything put back together and the head is on and I drilled a new hole to attach the head through the shaft and everything lined up just fine. So this is the finished project. It's been shortened down to 30 inches and I replaced the depth clamp with the one from Minn Kota 
which allowed me some more space so I can put on my steering control arms. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.